Hello, this is Yanis from Any Repair. Today we will go through an HP notebook that is not recognizing the NVMe SSD drive. So let's go and see what we will do about that. Here is the notebook. Let's go and power it on and check uh, what is going to tell us. We are pressing the power button and uh, we are waiting for a response from the computer to see if it uh, can detect a disk or not. It's saying that uh, no disk uh, installed and no or no bootable device found or install an operating system in your disk and things like that. Okay, uh, we can see that uh, no operating system, we can assume that no, no operating system is installed on our disk. So let's go and restart and check the, the boot menu, which is empty. Let's zoom in. You can see the boot option menu is empty, which means that uh, no disk uh, can be detected. But if we plug our USB last drive and restart notebook and press the F9 in order to get the boot menu we can see that uh, the boot option menu is using our USB drive, we can select it so the computer can boot but uh, cannot see, cannot detect the NVMe drive. So we'll place that, that way the notebook in order to power it on and check some voltages. Here is the NVMe slot, the notebook is already powered on, so let's check some voltages, we will go on these uh, capacitors, we haven't any voltage, that, uh, that pin here has nothing, we have 3.3 volts here. We're checking in a place that you cannot see, but we're having no voltage uh, on this uh, side of the NVMe slot. I'm pretty sure that voltages are on the other side of the NVMe slot. Let's check on the NVMe drive we can see we have 1.3 volts we have uh, something here something here we have 1.3 also here so the voltages are present on this drive but uh, what we are missing, something we are definitely missing, because uh, if uh, voltages are present, data lines or something is not right. But here, let's see, let's see closer on that uh, pin, it is moving. That pin is also moving. That pin is also moving, and I think all of them are moving, so we are not having any solid connection between the NVMe slot and the board. Let's check further. This pin is also moving, 
pretty much now, this is on the air, you can see. There is not solid connection between the NVMe drive and the board. So, we must uh, solder the NVMe slot back in place. We have already removed the drive to check the other side pin connection. which are solid, as we can see. So we must solder back the external row of the SSD drive. We, we are using, of course, our flux, and uh, we will solder back with a soldering iron with a small tip. We will go on in triple speed in order to finish up. Much uh, faster. It's not uh, so pretty to watch uh, in normal speed uh, the soldering of all these pins. We are trying to be precise with our nano tip. Bridges uh, will be always uh, in the game, but we will ignore them and we will deal the, with them uh, after the soldering process completed. We will solder the ground pad. We will press down the port and solder some pins. We will add some flux and press the, the slot down. We, we, with a much bigger tip in order to undo the bridges. And now with a wick, we will clear them. and redo them with a smaller tip. Now, after the soldering process is uh, completed, we're checking if any of the pin we have soldered is moving. If there is uh, anywhere soldering back, this one, for example, or this one, we're cleaning with uh, isopropylic alcohol. We're checking again. And after all this is finished, we will uh, plug the SSD drive back. And power on the computer. We will press the power button, we will press the F9. Which will which will uh, drive us on the boot menu. We have a small reset warning, I think, but it's okay. We will press enter.
we will restart and press the F9 key again. Show us the boot menu. The boot menu is on. Let's zoom in. We can see that uh, the NVMe drive is recognized. And I think that that's it. Our problems are solved. That was the repair, as you saw. It was a difficult one. Uh, a lot of us uh, would go and uh, refresh the BIOS and uh, check the BIOS or uh, assume that it's uh, the PCA that is not uh, uh, doing well. But uh, as you saw, it was uh, only a pin and pad connection. If you like this video, consider like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. See you in another pair. Bye.